after the race, we caught up with Corey Ellis, my good bro. Proud of you, man. You got fourth. What was it like from the start to finish? Tell us what you thought. Were you, were, were you thinking you'd get stuck in the mud? Was it a, a anybody start? Gates there, motors revved. Go from there. What happened? You know, the race was just it was it was a survival race out there. It was whoever got a good start, you know, and also rode smart. And uh, I got a really good start. Got bumped the first turn, went back a ways. Okay. And then I made some passes the first couple laps. You know, I got I got up and I think into fourth, and then Wimmer got me, and then uh, and then Lubrick ended up breaking down, so I just ended up in fourth place. But uh, I just I got there, and once I got a position, I just rode really smart and just tried not to make yeah. tried not to make any mistakes. You know, I mean, with the mud and the ruts, you know, if you make one mistake, you're stuck and you're in the back. So I was just once I got my position, I just kind of tried to hold it and just ride as smart as I could because it, it was a total survival race. There it was, was nothing but a survival race out there. Did you run your goggles the whole race? Were you able to see? Yeah, my stock goggles, man. Those things work so great. Those roll That's off. That's a big deal out there. Vision. The new work system I got on them. They, they just came out with thing works. Especially awesome. being coming from when you pass a few riders coming from the back, you've got you probably ate a yeah, lot I, of roost. I had totally clear vision the awesome. whole time. It was that's cool. It was great. I mean, my Alba, my Alba Yamaha just got an awesome start. I could see that. Fourth, know, fourth is so respectful. Yeah, the shocks, the concepts, you know, the things were working great. Elka shocks. Right on. Right you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better bike out there. You know, just. And, and you know the people here at ESPN Gravity Games, you know, did a great job. That's I, mean, what I was going to ask you next. You know, it's I mean, incredible. I mean, for, I were in the hotel room earlier today, and it, it was it probably rained three inches in ten minutes. I mean, it just came down with the Hurricane Dennis going by. Yeah. And you know, I when I, I couldn't believe the first lap around and prayed lap, and it was as dry as it was. I was I was really happy, and really impressed thought, with the track yeah. conditions. Yeah. Some of the ride we talked to Travis and stuff. He said that uh, we might get stuck out there. He thought that yeah. he, he saw the rain like you're saying. And he thought, well, we're gonna it's gonna be pushing yeah. the bikes and stuff. So I mean, we, it could have been way we, way worse. We showed up late to the track tonight because we thought we thought they're gonna push it off till tomorrow because it, it rained so bad. And we got here and they're like, no, we're running. So we we hurried up and got everything ready to go for the mud. So. Wow. wow. But right. I mean. This, it, was, it was an awesome race. I mean, I can't wait to see it on TV. It's going to be great.